Dear security guards of Reddit, what was the most effed up thing you've ever saw on your shift? I've worked security for the past 30 years from working on the doors for clubs to hotel security, but nothing quite stuck with me like this did. It was my second security job. I was working at a big hotel in London. I had the graveyard shift so it was usually super calm. Most shifts I was paid to watch movies and scroll through my phone. This one night however was very different. About an hour into my shift I got a call from reception to say there was an extremely distressed man telling them he was about to be killed and a gang was after him. He spoke very limited English so reception was struggling to fully understand the issue. I checked the cameras and could see the man reaching over the desk trying to grab for the phone so I rushed down from my office. When I got down I took the man into a side room and tried to get him to explain the situation. He begged me to call the police saying a gang had been following him and they were going to chop him into pieces and kill him. He was extremely scared. I left him in the room and phoned the police. They arrived and talked to the man, and supposedly sorted out the issue. They checked him into a room at the hotel and said they would be back in the morning to interview and discover what has happened. I took the man up to his room and left him there. The man stayed in his room all night and no one bothered him. It was about 30 minutes before my shift finished so I thought I would go knock on his room to make sure he was okay before I left. I got to his room and knocked on his door. No answer. I knocked again hard and shouted security. No answer. I was worried for his safety so unlocked the door and shouted in. Still no answer. I entered the room. It was completely empty. Then suddenly I get a call from reception. The girl was crying her eyes out, shouting for me to get down immediately. I ran down the stairs as quick as I could. When I got to the bottom I could see the man stood in the middle of the hotel lobby carrying a fire extinguisher covered in blood. He was also covered in blood but looked to have no injuries. There was a trail of blood splats leading from him to the first lift. I immediately radioed into the police as an emergency. I kept my distance but shouted at the man to explain what had happened. He told me they had come for him and he had to defend himself. The police soon arrived. As soon as they did the man surrendered himself and he was handcuffed and put into a police van. It was now safe for me to cross over the lobby so I went and had a look inside the lift. Inside were two men, their faces so damaged they barely looked human. The lift was covered in blood, as if it had been painted red. It was an awful sight. He had hit them so hard with the extinguisher he had caved their faces in. The worst part, the two men had nothing to do with any gangs. They were regulars at the hotel, who Al got to know quite well. They both had kids and families. They were staying over this night to visit a famous art gallery. I never found out what happened to the man who killed them.